Hey guys, my name is Jason. I'm here in the California desert with mine operator. We're gonna go get some gold today out of one of their underground gold mines. Here's our first look at the portal. We'll get our snake check out of the way here and then we'll talk about what we're doing. Watch your head. Well, you got them painted nice for me. Well, it's it's not as bad as your mine, but the back is a little is a little higher than yours, but it's just it's just low enough to hit your head on every damn rock in this thing. So we started painting them so we didn't keep bumping our heads. <laughs> well, we're both six foot or over. Yeah. I think those miners back then were five two. That's right. And will they be just laying in the middle of the drift? Or They'll will they be, be laying on the ground, chilling out? So it's not like we're, no. they're going to be coiled up in a corner or anything. Well, that's, that's the worst part. The last year I came here, there was one right here. Just right behind the just lower. Just right there. There was another one behind the wall here. Uh huh. There was another one over here. And then the fourth one crawled into a hole and we couldn't get them out. So, so they can really kind of be anywhere. Yeah. Well, I think we were going to get disappointed. I'm not seeing anything. Snakes are usually within the first 20 to 40 feet of the mine. Hey, I'm happy with no snakes. Yeah. <laughs> I'd much rather have no snakes than snakes. Well, we're clear on snakes. Didn't find any snakes, which I'm very happy about. I am as well. <laughs> All right, we're back here by the raise, right? We're on yep. the lower level? Yep. So when we first found this place, this raise was plugged. And this is obviously where they're sitting on their ore. This this chute is original. We made a little modification to it, uh, a little bit of rehab, but this was original to the mine. And once we got that raise plugged, we were able to uh, explore the shaft without uh, much issue. Nice. So there's multiple levels. Um, there's seven levels, so we'd be on the seventh level. Oh, wow. But it's only 100 foot between the, the top and the bottom levels. Okay, so they're like 15 feet apart or something, whatever. Yeah, seven 15, times. 20 feet apart, and they, uh -huh. they, were, they were poking into the hottest portions of the vein. Okay. Um, the vein isn't on this level we're in. Yeah, actually, it is. Oh, it is? Yeah, so the vein is almost vertical, but right above the rays, the vein dips right through the wall, right through where you're standing, hits the hanging wall here, and then it and then it drops vertical again. Oh, okay. So we're in this weird transition where it, it bent, but it's pretty barren down here. We got no gold in, in this hollow jet here. Oh, interesting. It isn't until you get up towards the top. So when the old timers drove this at it for hauling the ore out of the upper workings, they intercepted a vein that I don't think they expected, so they chased it. And there's a little bit of quartz, quartz calcinony in here, or a calcite. And it runs all the way back to drift here. So they chased it. And we were able to correlate this vein on the surface. It's this really thin, um, iron oxidized out quartz. It's super thin. But they, they obviously terminated here. I don't get any values except for a little slivers um, in, the, in the altered rock. Um, this is limonite oxidized iron and we get tiny 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 traces of gold in that but there's not enough to to really make a meal out of yeah pretty thin yeah very thin and on the surface it stays pretty narrow so we think they didn't think it was worth chasing the good stuff's up top uh, let's go find the good stuff oh yeah we're headed up to the second level now yep. upper level yep back in the late 1800s and all the way into the 30s the miners did everything on foot so one of the cool things about this area are all the little, we call them goat paths, but it's the miners paths and they'd use mules and they would carry their stuff up and go to work. There's prospects all over these mountains and you can follow these things for miles throughout the mountains here. And every once in a while you come across a working kind of like this one. Awesome. So we're going to use the old, we're going to walk in their footsteps. You're going to walk in the footsteps of men that use that in the late 1800s and in the, even into the thirties. All right. 1930s. Cool. Man, what a view of the valley from here. Just those huge alluvial fans coming out at each one of those drainages. Way different than back home. Oh yeah. We call this a commanding view. Yeah. You have a view of about 180 degrees. Yeah, for you sure. You can see pretty much everything. So we came up to the top dump here way back when we started out. And like I said, we chased the veins in the lower workings and didn't find anything. And we started testing the dump. And the dump actually came back with some gold. 
so we started trying to figure out what in the dump had gold so we take this red quartzy fuzzy looking stuff with iron limonite in there and crush it and we were running it in a small hammer mill one of uh one of our buddies made and running it on a sluice and it weighed out at a quarter ounce just from this so the pile behind you this is all the, the quartz with limonite and, and calcedonic quartz in there and we get anything from quarter to one ounce per ton out of that stuff and so the more mineralized the better the more mineralized the better i would guess and this is the vein material that you guys have kind of stockpiled here that's right the way i figured it out is somebody did the same thing before us uh-huh sure and so i took those piles and ran them and we didn't have a, a jaw crusher so i'd sit there with a hammer and feet on it and i couldn't get but a 20 pound sample for about an hour's worth of work uh-huh so you know there's nothing we could really do with it at the time tell me about your fancy tool there so somebody thought it was a good idea to let mine operator borrow the olympus vanta so We've been had we've had this thing for a little while and uh, I wanted to take it out here and test it out on the same places I've used our last XRF. And so Harry, tell me what does this thing do? This thing is a uh, X-ray fluorescent, so what it's doing is it's looking at the minerals in the ground and it's giving me the mineral makeup of what it's seeing. So this is basically geochemistry in a modern instrumentation. And what I'm hoping to see is my favorite two letters AU we'll see if I don't put this thing right on the gold it won't see it so it's scanning a, a cubic cubic centimeter so with gold gold's not disseminated through a rock like a lot of other minerals are so if you're hunting for gold with an XRF you literally have to be perfect on exactly where the gold is so in this case I'll probably shoot around the dump until I see what I want to see so 15 so you got your favorite letters yeah au 15 parts per million and with an error of seven so that's about what my first extra up said it said eight parts per million which comes out to about eight grams per ton but gold. half of that is sulfide so i'm gonna get maybe half of that in a in a, in a free mill gold and the other half it's got to go get packaged up for leach we're at the upper portal now snake Detection round two here. Yeah, so you're standing on backfill right now. This whoever started this prospect before it became a, a larger scale uh, project, they worked in the vein and they stoked up all the way to the surface. And you can see the vein up here. This vein still has values in it, and people have been picking on it over the years. And so when we got here, this is about the height of the material waste rock that was here we think someone probably blasted it down to keep people from going in mm -hmm. so chad ron and i and greg took all the material out so we could get into here so we could start you know doing bulk samples out of the top dump that's a big job yeah well we're pretty well clear of snakes yeah. we think yeah so your uh your viewers might like this our plan for getting the ore out was to use an ore chute uh huh. And so what we did is we made an eight inch irrigation line, run it all the way down the shaft to the ore bin at the bottom. Uh huh. So the old timers had done this with wood, but people over the years dropping rock down destroyed it. So we had to uh, do it ourselves. So your plan was to muck it into that funnel and mm -hmm. it just drops all the way down to the bottom and you bring mm -hmm. it out to the truck. One wheelbarrow at a time. Huh. It goes actually pretty fast. So there's your... You can see the, the platforms down there. We put all those platforms in for um, rock restraint in case anything fell down when we were in the shaft. So we got our manway and we got our chute. Why is that ladder so small? <laughs> well, this is, this is what's cool about this mine. They were pulling ore out in a bucket and this is a bucket rail. Ah. Um, not a strap rail, but a bucket rail. And they were hand cranking with a big, uh, I guess a big winch. And they were doing it by hand, pulling the ore and the waste rock up the ladder. Ooh. So there'd be two dudes sitting here cranking on either side, pulling up a hundred pounds at a time. And I know the guy that has, has the um, bucket from here. He's oh yeah? It. Yeah, it's pretty big. But they would drag it up this ladder. 
Man, oh man. A bucket reel. We did something similar at one of our other mines, just about, about an eight foot section, and it actually works really well. All right, so what is our plan today? Okay, so we're gonna set up some lighting and we're gonna get the impact hammer in, in the, one of the workings in here. Okay. We're gonna take you to what we call the I-5. It's the fifth level um, and it's got a, a limonite pocket that they stopped picking on, but we assayed somewhere around 0.4 ounce per ton. Okay. And that's hanging well off the foot wall. Okay. So we're gonna go right for the good stuff, um, but it's hard. It's really hard stuff, so. We'll see if we can get you 100 pounds. All right, so we'll go back down to the bottom, climb up. How, how far? Uh, it's gonna be about 30 feet. 30 so feet. I'm gonna get you in a harness and I have a, I have a safety line that you're gonna put a Prusik on. Okay. And then climb up the ladder and then I'll get you set up. They're gonna make me climb with ropes. I'm not really down with ropes, but it's okay. That's what you gotta do. It is such perfect weather out here right now. It's about 68 degrees, sun shining, a little breeze. Man, I wish I had this in Washington. We're unpacking and moving in. You like that? <laughs> hey, it works. We're all ready to move in. Yeah, everybody always asks why you're breathing hard. Well, the elevation is like over 2,000 feet, like 2,600 feet, and I'm, I got sea level lungs. Uh huh. Well, we carried all that stuff up from the truck. And without a nice rail and a source of trees, I gotta use a cart to get things in and out of my mind. I got my harness on. Fits like a glove. We're getting our cords ready. We're gonna run power all the way back. Oh yeah, otherwise uh, we're not gonna be able to break any rock today. Okay, you gotta have I power. Wish, I wish we had air, but I don't have an airline that long. This'll work. Harry, it looks like you've done this before. Uh, yeah, just a couple times. <laughs> we yeah, spent... So this, like I said, this is the first mine that I ever got my hands on. And we spent, you know, all kinds of time testing. I think it took us a year and a half to figure out where all the gold was. And then I got distracted by other mines. But we've been here... It's probably... I've probably been here over a hundred times. A hundred times. Yeah, easy. And how far is it back to the main rays? Uh, it's raise? about 250 feet. Oh, it's, so, a, it's a ways. Yeah. It's, they it's did some easy. work. Yeah. They did this all with dry drilling too. They did not use, um, they didn't have water. Ooh. So water was scarce. So everything was dry drill. Whoa, we've got lights. This is actually really cool. Well, that changes changes the scenery down here, doesn't it? That's where we're going. Harry's going up the ladder. We made it back to the rays. Now we're going to string some lights up there, but Harry, you got to go first. Yeah, here, check this out. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a Christmas show in here. Yeah, we did not do this for your viewers. It's, this is just for us. So <laughs> don't think you're special. I'm not that special. I'm a little special. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I gotta go up and look for snakes in the rays and this is my least favorite part because I have platforms and as you're coming up the ladder to the manway you can be face to face with a rattlesnake so I use a little mirror to kind of peek around the corner so I don't get bit in the face that's, that's a bad place to be bit by a snake. yeah you don't want to get bit in the no, face no so if you hear me scream like a girl I'll run out of here. You know I'll leave you. I'll leave you where you are. Yeah. <laughs> I will scream like a girl. Too. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully we can get that on camera. Yeah. Hopefully not. Actually, I really don't want to see snakes <laughs> today. And what's nice is this is like the coolest part of the mine because of the airflow. Uh huh. The air's just ripping through here, and it's not cold, 38 degrees like yours. It's like a 68 to 72. Almost year round. Perfect. Yeah. Is the air right now going up and out or it's down? It's going up. It's going up. Yeah, so what's really cool about, either they, they thought about it or they just got lucky, but all the dust goes up and out. So when they're filling the ore bin, we found when we're filling our ore bin, all the dust comes in and gets sucked right back out. Oh, nice. But the poor guys up on the stopes are sitting there getting dusted out the whole time. Right. The guy down here, the swamper, he had the best job. 
Because he was in the clear. He was in the clear, and he, all he had to do was load an our cart and push it, and he was out of the dust pretty much the whole day. Oh, man. Wasn't drilling, wasn't hammering, so he's probably the disabled guy out of the group. Oh, well, and he lived the longest. Yeah, usually the one-eyed guy is the one that, that moves the oil, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just climbed up the ladder to the sixth level. Here he's going to hand me stuff through this little tiny hole. Is, is this a good spot for me here? Or? Yes, sir. I'm just stacking on this little spot in the six. That's right. Well, it's really blowing here. You like that, huh? It's nice. There you go. All right, one handed. Uh, trying to get all the YouTube magic here. And we're on a mine at the same time. You're doing a lot better than I am. I only got the intro. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's a big hammer drill. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's undersized for the weight needed. On my shoe. On my boot. A little more. Yeah, got it. Right. Are you having fun yet? Oh yeah, it's it's always a trip going underground. Every mine, I mean, we all we all use the same principles, but it, every every mine is they use them a little different. They have a little bit different idea about how it should be done, which is kind of cool. Yeah, this is all uh, Mr. Ingersoll's idea. How okay. He did this. Ingersoll of Ingersoll Rand. Yes, sir. The Ingersoll. He ran. He ran these mines. Yep. All right. I'm coming up. With you. Okay. Let me get up on this platform here. Here's a little look around at the six. Looks like they chased a vein back there a little bit. Didn't see much. There's a kind of a good shot of the little slip. And it's not like a standard quartz vein like I have in my mines. It's just kind of a faulted, brecciated zone that is apparently mineralized. Oh yeah. But it sure didn't have a whole lot to work with. It opened big. It opened a couple feet up top. Did it? Yeah. And you can kind of see it. The vein bends. It takes a little bend here. I don't know what the geological term for that is. Um, yeah, just like a change of strike. Yeah, so the change of strike, it comes down and then I told you that it dipped. Uh -huh. So this is where it dips into the wall. And it, when it dipped, it dropped out a lot of manganese. Okay. Um, I've tested this ad nauseum out of spec. No gold. No gold. And I know this is the last level because this, this is their muck plate. Ah, right. This is the last heading that they were working before they they sold or whoever was working this last. Uh-huh. So we're underneath the, the pocket. This is where they ran out. Yeah. Okay. We tried to get this thing out of here, but it's uh, it's not light. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they must have drugged this thing around from mine to mine, um, you know, with, wherever their t main team was working. I'm sure their A team was the guys that drugged this around with them everywhere. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you go up and yeah. get bit in the face. Yeah. So for you, you got your James Bond mirror. James cool, Bond. thank you. Hey, is that a dead snake right there? Yep. Yeah, that's the one that scared me the last time I came in here. So there you go. Mine snake. It's a, it's a desert chicken <laughs> and it's taking a dirt nap. Uh-huh. Well, that's fine with me. Okay, clear. Here we go, taking the tools up to the I-5. It's a lot lighter than a jack leg. Yeah. <laughs> I bet it doesn't hit as hard, though. No, not, <laughs> not even close. <laughs> All right, I'm clear opening. Okay, I'm coming up then, I guess. Uh, nothing. Yep, you should be good. Okay. I'm clear. Okay, coming up. Right up to here, is there. And the trick here is not to disturb too much dust. 
because it all blows up in your face. Yeah. Whew. Dusty. Sorry about that. This is a desert. Desert, desert mine. Yeah, once you start moving dust, man, it's time to put that mask on. Be good for now. All right, looking right up the shaft. And Harry on the platform. Oh. Now we're into the old ladders. Now you're on the old ladder, yes, sir. This is a hundred year old ladder? Uh, that's a good guess. Huh. The 30s is the last time it was actually used for mining, so the age of it, unknown. Old. Older than us, yeah. Yeah. So it, it goes up a good ways and then it gets pretty bad. So once you get acclimated once you're up. This is the I-5? Yes, sir. I'm on the I-5. And you're on the south side? Mm -hmm. And when I first came down this shaft on a rope repelling, about 10 feet below you was the plug. And it was nothing but timber sticking up all jagged. And so if you were to fall, oh. you would have been skewered. Just punji, punji yeah, poles? Punji, like punji sticks, yeah. Oh. All, the, all the timber was splintered. There's rocks everywhere. It was nasty stuff. Oh. But, got so, it cleared. Got it cleared. All right, so we're working this side over here? Yes, sir, this is I-5. Let me uh, get out of the way so you can get in here. What do we need? Do I need anything from here? Um, Just a uh, mask. Mask? I'll probably just take the whole box. It's okay. kind of tight in here. This, They were chasing this vein, um, and they did not... I don't know why they didn't finish it, because it's good. It's real good. Mm. All right. Let me get out of the way. We'll okay, do one so of these. We'll do a little switch. Yeah, we'll do the fire yeah. drill here. Switcheroo. Get in there, you'll you'll see. So I'm looking for the limonite. Limonite. Oh, there's a little bit of an acrobatic section. Yeah, these were hardy gentlemen back in the day. Yeah. Oh. Okay, what are we looking at here? This little rusty pocket. That's it. That's the vein we gotta chase. And so, so tell me again here for a minute. Yeah. You took a channel sample across the whole face. That's right. And it came back at a 0. 0.4? 0. 0.4 ounce per ton. But you think this might be two ounces a ton or six ounces a ton or something? Uh, I'm, we took a high grade and I got quarter ounce by weight in a sluice. So okay. a sluice isn't all that efficient for getting uh, numbers, but that was, the, <clears throat> that was the free mill. Well, we'll have to get some of this out of here and run it on my shaker table. Yeah. So you're, you're looking at that limonite vein in front of you. Right here. Yeah, the whole thing. This is the good stuff. Right, see right at the uh, the face there, where it's kind of pocketed in? Back here. Yeah, that's where the limonite pocket goes. And we have, we're, we're plans was to chase that after we mine the top dump. Okay. And so we're jumping ahead a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> like we do. Yeah, I'm bringing you to the best spot that I have. Okay. Other than, you know, some of the other mines that we're partnered up on. So there is some quartz in there. Oh yeah. So there's a it, it's a quartz vein. This white material right there, that's quartz. With my lights on. This stuff? Uh, to the left. Yes. You passed it. I didn't hear. Move your finger down. Oh that's here. It's all quartz. All right. Well, let's get the good stuff. Yes, sir. Oh, down here, this looks kind of brownie good too, huh? Mm -hmm. So all this, I mean, this is the structure. Yeah, and you see the yellow stuff on the left, right up to the the hanging wall. All of it. That stuff carries values too. Really? Yeah. What about over here too? Nothing. Nothing. But so just kind of right in yeah, here. Once you get to the altered rock, the altered rock carries gold as well. Okay. And we haven't, we figured it's in the limonite, but it's also sometimes on the hang wall and foot wall throughout the mine. It's on both sides, we think. So just take take a little more yeah, and. Take a little more. Just so you don't miss any. Uh -huh. Okay, but this is like, this is the good, this is the good stuff right here. Take yeah, all this. All of it. Okay. We've got our marching orders. Now who's going to come mine it for us? I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get started and see what we can get. All right. You've got the drill there. I usually chip into the pan and I put it into your favorite, a sandbag. Yeah. And then I put it in the bucket and I lower it down the shaft. And one of the things we also do is we put down a piece of canvas on the ground. You know, to catch all the fines. Well, you're smart miners here. Yeah, well, I mean, we're 
We've been testing for a while, but we've not been able to break out of the prospector testing mode yet. So. I see. Well, and I don't know if you can see me or not, but I am. My head can barely fit through this section where I'm standing, so it is pretty tight in here. What's that? 18 inches across. Uh -huh. So the vein is narrow here. Hopefully rich. And you're standing on about 10 feet of waste rock. The, they backfilled. Yeah, they backfilled. So you're in a mini stope. A little mini stope. There's the face behind me. And so it's tight working conditions, but we're going to get some gold out here today, I think. Well, I'm going to try and show you down there about how far is that? 30 feet down, Harry? That's is, my best guess, about 30 feet. Is, the, is the, the lower level where we walked in on. And then I'm panning up the ladder. And you can see daylight up there at the top so that's where we walked in and looked down the shaft and there's a pretty nice little stope right over here oh yeah it gets big up there yeah i'm making harry do the work first so i can film him while he's all nice and clean Hey, how'd you get so dirty so fast? Well, I chose to wear black. It <laughs> shows up. Well, call me when you get 100 pounds. <laughs> uh, you got your mask on. Now I can make funny and make jokes and you can't respond. Oof. Thumbs up. There we go. think right over mines yeah i think so yeah this is how we used to do it man this is crazy everyone's gonna think you're nuts for trying this too yeah probably That's the good stuff? Yep. Okay. Yeah, good stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Hold that little... Oh, all that little brown stuff is where most of the gold resides. Most of the gold resides kind of in the limonite. Okay. The high grade stuff and then the, the quartz and the other rock inside the rock is generally lower grade. So all this dust falling off, that's the fine, that's the fine well, stuff. Will we be able to see gold in some of this? Maybe? No. 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 Too fine. Well, I mean, I've never slabbed this stuff before, but okay. Um, crushing it, yes. Oh, yeah. Cool. But like, we're, we're, I'm working this quartz here. That's fine. But the best stuff is this this limonite seam. Yep. Got yep. The limonite seams that were in up upper part of the workings were quite quite large, quite wide, and red, multiple feet. What I really look for is the little bugs. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. And most of the time, you know, when you look in quartz and bugs, you don't get anything. But in this stuff. There's pockets in it. Good stuff, huh? Have you ever mined limonite before? Uh-uh. Yeah, so this is the first. That's good. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah, high grade away. When you get into those red pockets of the limonite and it just starts flowing out, it's it's pretty awesome. That's what you want, but it's huh? nasty stuff. It's so dusty. Here's the stuff we're getting out. It looks nice. amazing. It's that limonite stuff. That's where the gold hangs out. And our buddy Jeff just did a video on this stuff. He did. Essentially saying that's where the good stuff is out here in the desert. Oh yeah. And that's what we're finding right up in this crack. Yep. A bunch of nice limonite. It's gonna be interesting to see that go through your system. Yeah, I can't wait. So if you wanna learn more about limonite, go check out Jeff's video on his channel. I want to try and get this big chunk out of here, yeah. which I think I'm close. All right. And then it'll open us up some. Oh! 
<laughs> what you got? Look at all that beautiful stuff. What are you looking? Well, I think you should steal the rock. I don't know. Oh, yeah, well. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty chunk there. Yep. And all those big chunks up top that you saw? Uh huh. Pretty soft. The reason why we think the top dump is so hot is because they were stockpiling that stuff up there. Okay. And the weathering just, you know, limonite out in the weather. We think that's why the top dump is so rich because the stuff that was low grade to them, the weather took it right out of it, dropped the gold. That's why the gold's all free mill. I see. So that's, they basically concentrated it for us by leaving it up there. So we're in the good spot. Yeah. This is all good? It's all good. All right. Well, I've taken a little break. I'm letting Harry in there and do his thing. We're getting some really, really good stuff out of there. I'm really excited to mail it back to myself and run through my system. It's just quartz and then right on the on the east side of the vein, it's just covered in limonite. It looks really, really good. That's a limonite pocket for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, good stuff. That's awesome. Ooh, that's some gold in there. That goes deep. That's in your hands. It's a natural opening. We're making some real good progress here. We're about to drop a big chunk. Oh yeah! It's 50 pounds right there. Now we gotta get it out. Yeah. How does it look? It's heavy. It's a good sign. Yeah. You think your jaw crusher can handle that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Throw it in the crusher. Throw it in the crusher. Gee, that's some huge... That'd be worth cutting. All right. We should slab that. Okay. For something. That's a massive. All right, do me do me a favor. Get the camera up and look at all these colors up that this okay, is here, I'll let you. This stuff is this stuff is wild. That's where that big piece just broke out of. Yeah, right here. Yeah, you can see uh, the altered country rock, and then it's a uh, calcite quartz friends. That vein's getting big, dude. Yeah, I know. It's uh. I, like I said, when I came in, I drilled in multiple directions trying to get a sample and I I was excited because I was going off at an angle that I didn't expect and it kept going. So I knew something was going on here. We just, you know, took you to get me in here. <laughs> There's some good colors in here. I'm excited about the, the width. Yeah. The mineable width is getting bigger and bigger. Now we get these uh, these sulfides here. Um, we call them the grays in the quartz, and we've been able to associate it with, the gold is close to this, so somewhere in this area um, associated with that, I'm expecting to see some color out of it. And this is altered, this is altered country rock, and this has values up until right about that point and then the rest is worthless. So when it starts to get iron impregnated, it, for some reason the gold goes with it or the gold's coming out of the country rock, one of the two, I, I don't know. We just knocked down another big piece. The vein's much smaller on it. Harry's knocking some wall rock off. What do this, you see, Harry? This is all, this is all calcite right here. No way. Yeah, that's calcite and quartz. And that's where you're saying all the gold's been. Oh yeah, it's calcite. See it green? That's calcite, buddy. And that's the rich stuff. Nice. This is getting real exciting now. We're finding all the telltale signs that Harry keeps telling me. Good oh, gold. Look at that. 
That's awesome. Nice. Would the proper term be betroidal? Betroidal? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, that stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of iron in it, but calcedinic quartz. And that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Get all that waste off of there and we'll bag it up. Or do something with it. Have you ever taken this much out of the spot? No. No. We did 100 pounds the first time. Oh, you did? Okay. We ran it through a hammer mill, and if the piece was bigger than maybe uh, a golf ball, we couldn't crush it. Oh, really? So all the big pieces... Are, are still sitting in my yard. Oh. So. So this will be the first real big test that you've done. For this spot, yeah, the top dump, we ran a ton. Okay. Um, but our table wasn't right. There was a lot of factors and it ended up being in the concentrates of 20 ounces per ton in the cons, concentrates. Okay. But we ran a ton and we only had like, I don't know, maybe two or three pounds of cons. Yeah. So the numbers didn't add up. Yeah. And that's just dump stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What do we got here? It's the iron sulfide. But the gold is here or here or in the center of this. It's one of these. Whenever I crush rock with this stuff, it's going to make your, your cons all silvery, though. Yeah. That's okay. Table doesn't care. No, table don't care. And we can shoot all this with the XRF outside. Mm -hmm. Really pinpoint what we're seeing. There was a spot I really liked on this piece. That would have been. Yeah, right, right over there. here. I really like that stuff. Here, move your light for a second. There you go. I don't know what that is, but that's that's my favorite for XRF right there. Yeah. Oh, I think you might be uh that might be another slabber. Slabbing. Yeah. Well, I won't lie to you, I've never slabbed this stuff before, so I don't know what it looks like. So hey. it might be it might be hideous. <laughs> no, any anything with gold in it is gonna be beautiful. Yeah. But these reds are pretty amazing. Well, what do you say? Are we do you think we can get more out of here easy? Are you ready to go home? We wanna I could do this all day. <laughs> so <laughs> Me too. I have no idea what time it is. No, it, it's funny because we'd be working in here and then we go outside and it's like dark. It, yeah, it like, could be midnight out yeah, there. What we happened? Know. What happened to dinner? No idea. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Maybe we take a break, get some water and right. take out some of these bigger pieces. Break. See what What's time a, it is. You never gave us breaks. What's a break? No, I'm yeah. just kidding. What's a break? <laughs> <laughs> we took plenty of breaks. <laughs> Cool, let's get some of these bigger rocks out. All right. I'd be excited to zap them with the XRF. It's definitely later than we thought it was gonna be. So we might go out to the to the sunset here. And it's still light. It is still light. But not for long. I think there's something about the Minerals and the rocks that make you lose track of time out here. Yeah, it's a time warp for yeah. sure. Sunset in the desert. Oh, good day. I'm really excited about what we found. I cannot wait to get the XRF on some of this stuff and then get it back to my crusher. Well, because it's so late, we're just gonna go grab our stuff and get out of here. We got somebody making us dinner and we don't want to be late. So I'll get what shots I can as getting our aurora out, but then we're gonna get the XRF going tonight and see if we can pinpoint some real hot spots with gold in them. Hey, well, old girl timber. You can see the grains are really tight. So this back in the day when they're getting lumber up here, the gentleman with the I guess the what do you call it? The horse and carriage or the horse and cart or whatever. Oh yeah. It was uh, twenty dollars a ton of lumber to deliver. Up in our area. $20 a ton? Yeah, they paid $20 a ton of lumber and they have enough lumber and hay for the mules to make it up. So this wood, this wood uh, had a long journey. Well, and $20 a ton wasn't gold? 29 or 39 or? It was uh, $35 an ounce. 30, yeah. yeah, so they're paying $20 for a ton of lumber. So over half an ounce of gold. Yeah, so if these guys, if they had to use timber, it was it was for a reason. They weren't, they weren't just screwing around. 
and they repurposed too. Like some of the some of the workings we've been in, you can tell some lumber had been reused, you know, three, four, and five times. Yeah. <laughs> sure. But. Jason, we're still doing sandbags. Oh, I know. You never get away from it. No. A couple of sandbags won't be bad. A couple of sandbags, no big deal. It's going to a good home. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry, I'll reuse them. <laughs> or you'll reuse them next year. Okay, clear shaft. Yeah, clear. Come on down. And you want me to stop it on the six, right? Uh, if you want. Yeah, that sounds good. Put on the six. Okay. Okay, clear. Tell you what, I like this vertical shaft stuff a lot more than that razor yours. <laughs> I think we got some good comments on our last video yeah. about the how to improve the raise, so we're going to make some big improvements next year. We got a lot of good comments on that video. Yeah. Thank you viewers for letting us know your thoughts on how to improve the raise at my new gold mine. Okay, send a big old rock down. Just the ones with gold in them though. This is a big one. That's our big one. Too big for a sandbag. Yeah, too big for a flat rate box too. Yeah. Touchdown. Touchdown. I want to give a big shout out to mine operator and thank him so much for letting me come down, hang out with them, and mine some of their gold. I had a great time. Stay tuned for part two, where I get the rocks back to my place, mill the stuff through my machines, crush it up, and see how much gold we have. So thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.